I was permitted to make some coffee. Then I proceeded to prepare my art making space, which pretty much consisted of clearing out a bunch of other art clutter materials and just a bunch of, pretty much just a bunch of junk that had built up there since the last time I'd made uh, art there. And I put up a, some bulletin board paper, which is what I use here today, just plain white. I put on a pair of jeans and I was just too hot. So I shortened the jeans into short pants. Jants, I call them. Wait, Jort, Jordan. Anyways, I was much cooler afterwards. And then today I used some Sumi ink and then just some sort of bamboo brush. I think I bought like a three pack for three or four dollars so it's pretty much a one dollar brush i think in the future i might use a more expensive brush just because i don't know there's something about it i didn't like that i think maybe the performance might increase might it might perform better if i spend more money on it but maybe not as you can see here in this video i i'm pretty happy with with the result and i mean i I don't know, some things are better when they're cheaper. Just simple, straightforward, you know, a good big pen, just a banana. You know, just don't don't get too crazy and fancy with it. Just get the one dollar bamboo brush pen. Maybe when you, I don't know, but but maybe I'll, I'll never know unless I do get the more expensive one. Anyway, so that I, I just got my Waffle House mug, squirted the ink in there, and uh, these bottles of ink are like uh eh, ten dollars. And I used less than one bottle to cover these whole uh, two big sheets of paper in this big old doodle. Uh, so it's not too expensive. Uh, the last time I did these, I used big like Magnum Sharpie markers, which is a good feeling because I like, it's like a big, it felt like I was drawing with big pens. I'm not as familiar with doing the brush, the, the mechanics of a brush stroke. I'm more familiar with using, you know, just like markers, pen strokes, which markers are closer to. But on the downside, I felt like the markers were being used up or worn out very quickly. And the markers are, those big Magnum Sharpies, uh, they're really expensive. And I feel like the, the ink goes farther. And it's also much darker. And uh, I don't know, it just felt like I, it was just much more it's much more satisfying to use the ink, like the Sumi ink with the brush. I think maybe sometimes, has anyone else found this to be true, that when you use those Magnum Sharpies, uh, like you use them, Sharpies, or markers in general, sometimes you're like coloring on paper for a while, uh, you're like scribbling away, and it looks like it's starting to get worn out, like it's, the, the, the ink is getting, it's fading. Uh, so you put the cap back on it, and you let it rest for a while, it's like recuperating, it just needs a chance to catch its breath maybe. And then you pick it back up and uncap it and start drawing again, and it's like, it's good to go. Maybe the the flow couldn't keep up with how fast you were drawing or something. It just needed a chance for all the ink to seep back down into the tip of the marker again. I don't know. Maybe that's the case. Maybe I wasn't really using up those Sharpie Magnums as fast as I thought I was. Maybe I was scribbling too fast. I'm not sure. Maybe Who knows? Anyways. All that goes to say, I think in the future, if I was going to do this again, and I think I will do this again, I had a great time, the one one or two things I might change would be uh, I might experiment with uh, a different a different a different brush, maybe a different material brush. I'm not sure what <laughs> what material this was. I know like the handle was bamboo. I don't know what kind of bristles there were. Um, I mean, I've done banana already. I've done I've done all sorts of weird stuff, but I'm not really concerned with using any more fruit at the moment. I just want to make the art. Uh, but the ink, I'm I'm fine with using Sumi ink. 
because it seems like Sumi ink is the ink you can get the most of for the cheapest, and it's still very good. It goes on dark and stays dark. And uh, uh, one thing I will say is that anyone else that has used Sumi ink knows, uh, I also, I don't know if I'm saying that word right, but anyone knows that's used it knows that it has a very distinct smell. Smell As soon as you like squirt it out, start using it, I, if I had to guess, if I had to say what it smelled like, I would say it smells like, it smells strongly of metallic cardboard. I think that's what I'll say it smells like, metallic cardboard. Uh, but you get, you get used to it after a while. And it only, only a tiny little bit of it dribbled onto the carpet. Just like seven driblets and droplets got on the carpet. So don't you worry about that. And it's, Sumi ink is pretty water. It's like you can wash it off with water pretty easily. So I should probably do that sometime. Probably the sooner the better. I mean, I filled up, I filled up these, those, uh, those, I mean, I filled up that same Waffle House mug to almost to the brim and running over with the, that ink before. And I left it in there for months, and then when I came, I, I just like pretty much rinsed it out with water before, and it was spotless, not a not a stain to be seen with, from that ink. But you put it on paper, and uh, well, I guess maybe it's just not water resistant. So I wonder if you took a piece of paper and put ink on it, could you put the piece of paper underwater and like rinse the ink? out of the paper or does it like bond with the paper fibers somehow or nah I don't know I don't know I should, I should try that sometime but with some maybe with some paper that holds up to water well and doesn't just fall apart I don't know one day one day I will get my certificate in ink science I'll be a, I'll be a downright ink scientist but for now I just have some small amount of street smarts and ex personal first-hand experience, just a little bit. I feel like I don't have as much as I should have, but I'll take what I've got. Anyways, when I'm done with this, uh, I'll probably leave these up on the these little walls. I'm pretty much, I've, pr I've got this paper stapled to these movable walls that came in my apartment. It's supposed to divide like rooms up. Uh, like so you can either have one big room or two smaller rooms. Uh, the floor plans, these apartments, they have, look, there's two floor plans they sell. They sell a two bedroom floor plan, or is it, or is it one bedroom? There's two bedrooms. Oh, wait, I'm not explaining this well. There's a two bedroom they sell that is the same exact square footage as a one bedroom, where the other bedroom is they just mark it as a den. Wait, that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Look, anyways, they have these mobile, they have these movable things that I took, that I, I unlatched, and anyways, I've, I've stapled, I, I've, I'm lost, anyways, I've stapled paper to these movable wall things that I've unlatched from the wall, and anyways, I'll leave them here until the next time I want to, uh, mo you know, draw something on big paper, and then I'll just roll them up and toss them in the corner with the rest of the big paper drawings. Until one day, I have a I have a dream. One day, I'll have like a, gra a gallery showing with all my big paper drawings, where there will just be big paper, like ceiling to floor, just big, just be like paper, and big drawings everywhere. It'll be great. I see it now in my head. Hmm, it'll be cool. Believe me. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Goodbye.